and you can also find they had they're releasing a new project called Mpenzi in September. I don't want to tell you September when because now you have to follow them and see for yourself. We had three very amazing and powerful ladies in studio with one missing grace. Shout out, I'm sorry you missed the show, but we are very much looking forward to having you as you release Mpenzi here exclusively on Y in the morning only on your favorite channel Y254 and now without further ado we have another very lovely lady as uh, Shiko Kaitani had mentioned earlier her name is Hana Shiko I'm an Ishiko Hana Hana Shiko Hana 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 you're a gospel artist yes. you are an upcoming upcoming artist and you have a new single called Katika Jina La Yesu yes. tell me about that song okay mm. um I released this uh, uh, last year when I was uh, going through some, uh, I was being disturbed by the body, nilikuwa mm. mgonjwa, uh, lafu. So I used to fall sick most of the time. So one day when I, I, I fell on my way home and then a motorbike man helped me, took me to hospital. And when I was in hospital bed, that is when I got that song mm. and uh, the chorus kept uh, kept on coming back, mm -hmm. and uh, that is how I sang it. You fell. Yes, what I fell. What happened? I think I was I, I was thinking a lot. Maybe I, I was at that time I was really struggling, and uh, I had failed to give God all my troubles. I was carrying all my trouble by myself. Mm. And then it was too much for me. And most of the time, even in my workplace, it was very difficult for me because I, I work in a school, mm -hmm. uh, in a children's home also. Mm -hmm. And so most of the time when I was, I, I used to sit and think about all my troubles. Mm. And even sometimes I would be playing with the children and then I fall down. And then maybe you will see the, the bigger children coming and picking me up, oh no. taking me for first aid. And then sometimes in the house, and then my children were really suffering because mm. they were wondering what is wrong with their mother. Mm. So that particular time, uh, I was on my way home. Mm. So sometimes working in a children's home is cha sometimes challenging mm. because uh, most of them depend on sp donors, you mm. know. And some sometimes the salary can delay. Mm. So now I am wondering, now I am heading home, how, how will I manage? So I, I went on thinking like that and then eventually I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. I felt no one was to help. At, at, you know at school sometimes maybe the children were usually there mm. to help me but now on my way home no one to help me. Mm. So a motorbike man came and found me lying there mm -hmm. and then he called for help. I was taken to the hospital and then when I was taken the first thing I was, ta I was checked on is diabetes mm -hmm. and I was checked on my pressure and then I was uh, uh, added some drips mm -hmm. and that is when I started looking at myself and then I said I have a you know I am worrying because of money this is money that I'm using in the hospital even if this man has helped me he's not, he's not the one who will pay the bill mm. I am the one who is responsible of that bill you know and then I started looking how my children every time my mom uh, especially the the elder girl when she sees me sick, she literally suffers. Mm. So I said, uh, okay, that is when that song was coming to me. And then I was looking at how God has helped me all through and the way he has showed me that he's always with me. Mm -hmm. Why should I worry now? Mm. And then that song, when I, I left the hospital, uh, it, kept, it kept on coming back. Mm -hmm. And since then, I have never had that challenge again and it is also uh, it al has also been a blessing mm -hmm. even when someone tells me uh, i'm sick mm -hmm. i usually send that song to to him or her mm -hmm. and then uh because it has been a blessing to me even in my house mm -hmm. when my children have any challenge especially in sickness mm -hmm. they start singing the song and it has been a powerful song to our lives hey a yeah. literally a healing song it is a healing song i must say that i i, I should say that wow yes but Sana, how, how was it when you now, you know, when you're around the children and maybe you fainted and, and you've been an artist before the song? Yes, I've been an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, there, are, uh, there, is a, uh, uh, there are other songs mm -hmm. that I, ha I had done some years back, maybe three years back. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And you've been a gospel artist from the get-go? Yes, the from the get-go. Okay. When I was composing my songs first, mm -hmm. I did not know where actually it fell to. Mm -hmm. 
but because it's got uh, but the way uh, I realized that in my songs because of the tr the 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 problems I was going through mm -hmm. I realized that I was not mentioning God in my songs so I was wondering if they are secular or not but later on when mm -hmm. I okay I did not have money mm -hmm. uh, to go to record my songs at that particular time mm -hmm. so um, with the time as I continued singing I realized that every step of my life it's mm -hmm. God that is helping me through so uh, when I went to the studio mm -hmm. I, co I, I I sang them mm -hmm as gospel songs all of them at once uh, oh, i did not mm. uh, i did not sing all of them at once mm. I, I i sang <coughs> slowly by slowly uh, one by one and then i managed to 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 sing all of them i can see from your face that this is a very touching story <laughs> this, this is a testimony literally yes story, yes it is testimony. yeah and i'm sure so many people are going to be blessed a by your story thank yeah. you for coming to tell us thank and you. the actual song yeah. now imagine if it has released so much healing into your life how much more will it do out there yeah we're I very do. proud of you Shiko. thank you thank Kay. you yeah. okay so i was back to maybe how you were unwell i i is it that this one song is the one that ministered to this particular sickness because you have 11 other songs before this this one song was the one now that was supposed to because you told me you were fainting maybe in school and things like that and the kids would have to how was that first of all being a teacher and and you know having a bit dizzy spells in you fall yeah i think uh, sometimes i would think and uh, and i will be i don't know i don't know how it was happening mm. actually even there is one particular moment that i was taken to the hospital and i was told that i don't know what has happened to uh, uh, I, I i am cg in the heart cg pia mm. me guza heart mm. and that particular moment i was like what is what is mm. this and then i had ulcers mm. and then that dizziness mm. every time I will be in my own world and then I just find myself just falling just like that and sometimes I would even hurt myself you know yeah hey and and not and it's also affecting your children cause yeah it was really mm. affecting them cuz mm. uh, cuz especially I was telling you especially the bigger girl and you know we have been through with her mm. a lot of things mm -hmm. because uh, before I released my first album, uh, the album I was telling you that it is like most, uh, I was releasing based on what I was going through. Mm. Um, personally, the first girl that I'm talking about is around now, she's in form two. So we have been through a lot with her mm. because um, I got her when I was very, very young. Mm -hmm. And uh, how I got her, I, I, was, I was raised up in, um, my mother was, was not there. You, you, she was working and I was staying with my grandmother and my grandmother had around 12 children and the youngest was almost the same age as me mm -hmm. okay she he was older two years older mm. so uh, I grew up with him mm -hmm. and I was staying with my grandmother in a certain town called in still the same place I stay in Gong mm. but apparently I stay in a, uh, another in the same area but mm. in a place called Kibiko mm. so we had a hotel somewhere in Gong mm. So my, you, you know now the, the, the younger brother of my mom, mm -hmm. that, I'm, uh, that is my uncle now, mm -hmm. so you know he was the center of attention of my grandmother since he was the youngest. Mm -hmm. And also you know now when you, 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 the children are growing to be with the grandmother and then the mother is nowhere, to, you know, is not there. Sometimes uh, the child becomes a burden. Sometimes mm. I would say so because I think every child uh, is supposed to be brought up by the mother and the caring mother. Mm. I would not say that my mother was not caring, but maybe he, she was so busy. Mm. So uh, around um, in the year 2000, that mm. is when I finished my class eight, mm -hmm. and I, you know, no one was there. My my mother at that particular moment. Mm. She was she was not able to pay for my secondary fees. Mm -hmm. are you, are, okay, are you, yeah. are you okay, Mama, Mama? I'm so sorry. Okay, uh, we are just gonna talk about the music one more time. We said Katika Jinalayosu is yeah. uh, a healing song. Yes, and uh, I'm very sure when it's going to be played, it's going to be blessed a lot of people. Yeah. Thank you. I want to jump out of the chair and hug you, but uh, we can't right now. So yeah. thank you so much for your touching story. Let me just, 
All right, uh, why in the morning family? We have Katika Jina La Yusuf by Shiko Hana, and I am very sure you're going to be as touched as I have been by her story. Don't go away, we have more with At It's Barry Moore. Katika jina la Yesu, 